Nappy carpeting. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. No. Just follow me. Okay, it's a lot of nappy carpeting going on down there. Ain't your head nappy? Mm -hmm. Them nappy headed motherfuckers love to pet them cars. Yeah. Here they go. They out there now. They... Yeah, man, you know, such and such, you know, Sudamar did their paint. Yeah, man, Sudamar, man. Suit it bad, motherfucker, man. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. this the boss gloss right here. See, you niggas yeah. slipping on your pimp and you need some of this boss gloss right here. That's 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 a nappy headed nigga car pet. Yeah. He petting the goddamn car. You hand car wash niggas. Yeah. See? And and guess what that line up to again, bro? It goes right back again to Second Corinthians two and eleven. Yep. Be not ignorant. Of Satan device. What is but devices is he put that crystal clear paint. Bro, you know what? As much as beautiful as paint is, it's got to be the dumbest way to spend your money. Yeah. Want to know why? It's over. Uh, it's, 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 see this? Hey, uh, that! This right here with this cup is over. You're done. You're you. done. It's a wrap. Hey, I, how, who, who all at the Rick Ross? What type of, what type of individuals is at the Rick Ross car show right now? A bunch of ex cons, aka niggas, right? Yep. Is give us Proverbs four, <laughs> fourteen. And they 15. in between prison since. <laughs> four. Yeah, verses fourteen, 14 15. fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Proverbs chapter four, verse fourteen. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Now, That's I'm all them niggas. Hold on, hold on. I'm, now look, just in case a motherfucker try to clean this up, we gonna go small scale, okay? Bring it out again so your dad can break it down. Ish. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Who who was the king? Of Black Sunday. Don't even say his name, but I know. Green you. eyes, uh, green <laughs> eyes, man. Green eyes. Right. Oh, how'd he get his money? You know how he. Okay. Got. Who was this? Who was who was the second? So say he gone. He ain't the king no more. Yeah. Now it's another king. What you think his occupation is? Same thing. Bro. Okay. Now he got it fucked up and indicted. Who next? Same thing. Now that's Black Sunday. Now right. let's go to Rick Ross. Now, who you think out there? <laughs> Haitian Jack out there with his shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, this the 69. This the 69 right here, Playboy. This the 69 Rolls Royce right here, Playboy. <laughs> That's him. He out there with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Haitian Jack over there. He yeah. is. Yeah, he got the 69 over there. Uh, <laughs> with a body Jimmy in there. Jimmy Hitchman over there. Hey, I with a body yep. in that yep. motherfucker. Yep, they let Larry Hoover out for this. He over there. He even got his shit over uh, there. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, man. And you know what's funny, bro? See, that scripture, dog. What's the point? We don't belong at shit like nah, that. Nah, man. If you go, you you go. Okay. Every like, like Everything that glitter ain't gold. When you a child and you young... And that shit look obtainable to you. And then you find out, like, man, y'all was over there standing around having the time of y'all life. I want to be involved. And then you find out he is stolen. Now, guess what? And it's stolen, stolen. Like, he didn't even do no work. This nigga went to Canada, yeah. stole that motherfucker, came back and retagged it, then came to the Rick Ross car show with the motherfucker. He ain't do nothing. He ain't changed nothing but the tags. Nothing but the tags. You like, damn, dog. You just straight rocking somebody else's shit from Canada? Huh? Yeah. Huh? What you talking about? This is my shit. And guess what? Y'all in for a treat, because guess why? Oh, is somebody <clears throat> retags out there? Man. And, and, and think about it. Y'all in for a great treat. And I'm going to tell you why. Because two years ago, my man's over to the left. Got a chance to witness that. Ish from mm -hmm. you with your spiritual binoculars. <laughs> can you just give the congregation a small synopsis Man. of what you saw as far as the Rick Ross, the Rick Rawson first bread. annual yeah. car show? It's like it was it too much money. Man. He said IUIC was outside the gate yeah. going in. Like all you niggas <laughs> is gonna be two third niggas <laughs> out of here in the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hell yeah.
Right. I U I C. But it was just too much money, man. Like, I ain't ever seen that much bread. Not with niggas. Right, because you got all the Miami drug dealers there. <laughs> right, right. Now, Ish went just, he loved cars. Yeah. Okay, so anybody that, if you wonder why he would be there, he loved cars. And Cut up, went. Since a, since a little boy, he loved cars. So he went as an observation. Uh, spectator, I don't take yeah, shit. Yeah, as an observation <laughs> to see. So he was our eyes and ears to come back spiritually and give us a recap of what he was able to see. In my younger years, I'd have went because it's too spectacular in the mind of of a young man trying to find himself. It's just a very spectacular thing, the automobile. But then when you find, it's, it's not the car, it's the stories that come with the cars. Yep. You want the story to be clean. Like, mm -hmm. man, this you, yeah, this me. And it be a mixture because there's certain people that, it's a, it's a decent amount of people that's there that built their car themselves. Well, respect. But when you got, I'm talking about legit like money. I, I whatever hustled it. Okay, I don't care if you made it with legit money. What what what's your background story? Yeah, I was selling dope, and I was like, this shit ain't working. So I took that money and you cut already. You cut. You're done man. right there. <laughs> right, right. Oh well, you know, man. Uh. The only legitimate redemption story would be. Man, I ain't going to lie, I was a knucklehead back in the day, you understand me? Fuck around, did my little seven years on my head, you know what I'm talking about? Got out, you know what I'm saying? Was finna jump back in the game, but knew that I ain't want to do that time, but that's all I knew. And then my guy came, I got the Class A CDL, you understand me? Got to drive like a motherfucker. Next you know, I had two trucks, nigga. I ain't never had to touch no dope again, nigga, and I love cars. He legit. That's legit. He legit. He's supposed to be there. All you niggas, with, you, know, you know, jacked the motherfucker and jacked this shit up and stole the motherfucking U-Haul truck and took the motor out the motherfucker. Right. Yeah, you niggas, man. You niggas, fuck you niggas, and man. Guess what else and that's I... the majority of you niggas there. Guess what Some else? of you niggas on stolen rims. Now, guess what else? I, in, a, in a carnal sense, rappers, right, you would be legit. But in the spirit, no, you niggas is disqualified too. They disqualified you too. Because serving Satan again. Because you, matter of fact, you're more disqualified than the punk yeah. ass little street nigga. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what you got. He was, he, he was there, there, there. So he got to see every spirit. He got to see every level of street money. Every level of, 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 of rapper money. Every level of entertainment money. Every level of uh, uh, athlete money, every level of script club money, pimping money, oh, that was out there. murder money. It's just look where it's at. It's in it's in it's in the, the, the Babylonian premise. capital. Yep. Oh yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, bro. that's the Babylonian capital, Atlanta. Everybody know that. So ish, if we could just if you could give us one takeaway or the congregation one takeaway, because bro, we can only imagine. By looking at the videos, it ain't nothing like being there. So I know you was like in the, a, a car candy yeah. shop. <laughs> this is what I be thinking. Like a month. When I see that, this is what I honestly think. When I see Rick Ross lifestyle, this is what I think. So you was able to beat the fuck out of Vlad. Thanks. And you still alive and they let you have this? What's the play? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because... Yeah. For some reason, I cannot figure out. Well, I, I oh, I'm why the white you. man letting you live like that? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, guess I, what? Boosie, I, when I see that, I'm not hating. I just be trying to figure out. Okay, why is the white man letting you live like this? I got your answer. I don't know. I don't know. I know you're selling our people out, but no, this is pretty big. You got private jets and shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't you ain't even the worst motherfucker to sell our people out. So why is it they fixing your airplane not to crash? I'm fucked up in the head. I think like that. I'm like, okay. Right now, if Floyd, me and Floyd became friends, and he said, Julie, I'm finna, we finna jump, we finna jump on the jet. See, here's the problem. Floyd, I would love to. Man, I love you like a brother, man. I want to kick it with you bad the motherfucker. But me and you on this airplane, the CIA ain't gonna kill us. He probably start laughing. I'll be looking at him with a straight face like. I'm dead getting on this punk ass plane, nigga. I'm tripping off how you niggas fly. I'm getting on a plane with a bunch of Edomites, 
like that. I know the Lord control everything, <laughs> but I still have not figured out why they ain't putting bolts in the motor of your plane. This is why he's able to get away with this. Uh, <laughs> you gonna laugh your ass off, bro. Slocky, I, would you get on Floyd plane? With him. He on there too. Oh man, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna be on there with him, bro. You gonna get on there with him? You gonna yeah. take the chance? But here's the thing. I'm already letting everybody know when I get on this motherfucker, you probably gonna ever see me again because <laughs> this motherfucker gonna right. land nigga head first. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be looking like, I'm gonna be thinking like, you remember head Ron Brown? Go, no, Ron Brown. They they did Ron Brown so dirty. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. No, I'm gonna show you oh. why you, you asked. They did Ron Brown dirty. You asked <laughs> why your boy head Rick Rose. <laughs> Uh, Aaliyah in this bitch, Kobe. <laughs> you ask why Rick Ross is connected after he he was playing a part next to Trump's the other day. After he slapped your boy Vlad and got yeah. away with it. Dog, he, they is, broke Vlad off. This is his business partner. That's like the Jew. That is Tom Tom Moskowitz. Don't worry about it, Rick. Vlad's a piece of shit. You know I don't like him. You know Satan go against Satan. He hired too, he hired Leo Corn too. He under wow, Leo Corn. Wow. Yeah, this this is Rick Ross. Remember what you say? What you saying? That song, only fat nigga in a sauna full of Jews. Oh, yeah. I hear him say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tom Moskowitz. Lord knows. That's his. That's his guy. Is it, uh, Dame uh, Dash. Uh, now Dame. guess what? Dame Dash don't like Todd Moskowitz. Mm -hmm. I don't like him either. Yeah, Lord knows. But that's. I don't even know who he is. I don't see. See, that's the spirit, Rose. Listen, bro. Remember what Commodus did like this to Maximus? He said, "Rose, guess listen, what? Listen to this, hey man. Hey, I, I'm hey. not biased on that one. I guess, can't fuck with you. Hey, I like your music, and I like your, I like your style. But if you hang with them Jews, man, listen, you need your right. ass whooped. You ready? You want to know who Todd is? American music industry executive." He is currently the founder and CEO of Alamo Records and the manager of Gucci Mane. Previously, Moscow is co-founder of 300 Entertainment, served as co-president and CEO of Warner Brothers Records. That's a Rick Ross record label through now and worked for Def Jam, right? While attending law school, Moscow is worked for Rush Communications. Russell, Russell, Russell Simmons. Simmons. Now look, he worked. Moscow worked as a lawyer in the mergers and acquisition department of internal law for Skadden, Arp, Slate, Megger, and Flom from a year before being asked by Leor Coin to rejoin the company as head of Rush Communications. So Jews just surrounded they us, everywhere, and bro. the brakes off our. But see, shout out to Kanye. See. Kanye, the hardest rapper ever to live. <laughs> I put him up there with Martin Luther King. He's above Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And, and this is why. Because he was the first man in the history of my lifetime. In 2021, that's what he was worth. 400 million. He was the first man in my lifetime to state what the actual real problem was from a billionaire's status. And black people said he was crazy. So black people don't know what the fuck they want. I thought y'all follow the money. And now Kanye got all the dough, and he tell you, look, up here at the top where I'm at, oh, man, I done found out the real bullshit of the bullshit. Jews trying to control us and fucking us over. Man, Kanye West crazy, man. Okay. Todd Moskowitz. All right, that's, that's Rick Ross's success. Remember when he did the Black Bar Mitzvah? See? See that right there? Yeah. See, see and he's currently you know Gucci Man's manager. Wow. <laughs> see, see, bro, the music, fuck off. Listen, man, that's one of Satan devices that even can take men in yeah. our situation go. and make us twist that damn knob and go to jumping that head up and down. There you go, bro. And he's car. a Jew. He's a Jew. It's just, it's just too much at this point. Y'all got to get the... <sighs> Look at this motherfucker. Bro, we... That's him, dog. Uh, Todd you like, uh, dog. You look like a, you look like deputy dog in the head. Yeah, man. Like, bro, like. Yeah. Here's the fucked up thing about it. If your ass start going into convulsions right now, when you get rushed to the hospital, it's gonna be a Jewish doctor working on your ass. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just this weird. It's like the Lord put us in this weird ecosystem of Jews. To yes. where they your oppressor and your lifesaver at the same time. 
I remember <laughs> real quick. I remember when the, in what was that North Korea when it was like some disease or something and they had to fly in doctors from out of the and I remember the patients was getting up looking right past the doctor. Thank you, Kim Jong un. <laughs> That's how we supposed to be doing that. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I don't give a fuck I'll that you the doctor. It. All, all right. praise. So, <laughs> all so, bitch. Out in Walshaw. Facts. This is my good eye. I see better out my left, a lot better out my left eye than I see out my right eye. I got a flaw in the vision of my right eye that's visible if I close one eye, look at some words, or look at some straight lines. It's a little wiggle in there. I discussed it with my ophthalmologist. He looked in there. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm like, but I'm telling you what I see. He like, yeah, you know, some people had that. It's not your vision, but I can tell it's not. But it's it's, it's a flaw in my vision on my lot on my right side. My left eye does not have that. Remember when my left eye got fucked up and started getting infected, and I never oh, yeah. knew why. Yeah. I'm in dire straits. I'm talking about, bro. It it wasn't hurting. It's this constant leaking, constant irritation like something in it. And you to, when light hits it, it just feel like somebody hit you in the face with a lightning bolt. I mean, it couldn't take no light. I would open my eye and it, any light would just boom, 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 boom. I would see these fireworks going off inside. It was weird. And my eye wouldn't stop moving on its own. It was inside. And then and after a while, it started to like, it was crazy. So I go on an emergency run out here to Waukesha to eye care specialist. A Jewish female, I was 47 years at the, years old at the time, and this 47-year-old Jewish ophthalmologist female comes in, treats me smug, not racist, more or less like smug, like I'm better than you. Mm -hmm. Because I guess after she looked at my insurance information, of course she saw a 47-year-old male and then she saw my nigga ass come in there. Jewish. Yeah, Ashkenazi. Oh, man. My, yeah. So, um, I don't know who she is at the time. Okay. I don't know her name. This is an emergency visit. And I'm just out there to get this. So, she go through. She go in my eye. Um, She said that you got some scarring in there. And then she looked and she was like, if it would have been over just a tad bit more, it would have affected your vision. But it's right outside the visual spectrum. That was your Howard. Um, yeah, it was, she said it was right there. She said any if it would have moved any you over, it would have affected some part of your vision. My vision still 2020 with glasses in this eye. It's amazing. I see pretty good. So she just gave me these eye drops and she gave them to me. Like, here, these sample sizes. Put two drops in two times a day and for two weeks. That shit went away. So after I started thinking about it, trying to figure out what happened to my eye, I look her up. This is a Jewish chick, Deborah Bernstein. And I and, and I got mad because here's a Jewish female that's the same age as me. I already have this uh, not a, a outrageous superior superiority complex over women, but feel like men should be up in the front of everything. Uh, I know that's probably sound bad, but I have this men are over women mentality. Yeah. So I was in my feelings about that because I was like, damn, this bitch smarter than me. And I had to, and I talk all that shit about Jewish people. And then I go out here and she treats me smug, not racist. It was almost blatantly not racist. More like a <laughs> stupid nigga. Yeah. Yeah. But not in a racist way. More like gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mr. Smart Guy. Right. Like that. Mm -hmm. like, like I I know what racism feel like. This was not racism. This was this is him type shit. Like they knew this is the one yeah, we're we talking all that shit thing. about Jewish motherfuckers because we share all the pictures and these stupid motherfuckers think they just be talking to the wind. Facts. It's like almost like I can't say she did, but she treated me really, really like ah, ha, fuck you. Here you go. All right. That's me, <laughs> Mister Nigger Boy. This <laughs> is Jew. This is Nigger You. Right. You was gonna lose your goddamn eye, and oh, you need a Jew's help and you need a Jew's medicine. Here you go, you asshole. When you figure it out, you're gonna be looking fucking stupid. Right. I was looking stupid, but then I realized I was dumb, and it hurt my feelings and made me feel well, even why? dumber. I don't understand that. Why it made me feel dumb? Yeah. Cause we're fucked. 
Because I'm like, yeah, in captivity, you can't yeah, look at. If you was in a space in your life where you never had to worry about shit ever, you could do it. They don't got to do that. So it's like, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, ego, that ego shit, man, that shit. It's get, ego between me and Esau. That shit get in the way of reality. It do, but it's Fuck like them. it's like <laughs> it's okay, say for instance you hey, get uh, the rib session. On, Remember I, the hood this rib session? This, this, and this, they rib it. This and session, we like, I mean not the session. This is the scenario I use. Message. Y'all as parents. <laughs> punish your child for however long you decide. Okay. They could get the point. Within the first hour or two. That don't fucking mean it's over. Take your ass back in your fucking room. <laughs> That's how the Lord doing us. He figured it out. Good. The fuck out my face, nigga. <laughs> but it's like you gotta accept it though. Yeah. Cause what you gonna do? Hurry up and die? A Jew ball. <laughs> a Jew ball killing me. Damn. Killing me. I'm talking about straight working me. Child. Ish the buffer. <laughs> he came in. He's gonna be like, man. Yeah, guess that what shit. Dad, now look, guess what dad was like? But you don't understand. But you don't understand. <laughs> now look, bro. Look. So this is how I'm drawing. I be thinking in terms of one up, one up and and rib session type of mind yeah, process. I'm probably, I'm so sorry. I'm looking at it like, say we in a rib session, and she come in the room, and like she hear ribbing, and then and then somebody and I and I my dumb ass river like yeah such such deep beak face uh beak head bird face looking at that motherfucker that she looked like a beak head bird face, and then she say stupid nigga if it wasn't for me yeah well, that's a bad scenario. So I'm a, I talk shit about Jewish people. She can be like, yeah, you talk all that shit about Jewish people, but you would have been one blind nigger without coming to see me, <laughs> stupid motherfucker. Now how you gonna come Why you ain't go to a black eye doctor? Ooh, see. Oh, it ain't none of y'all. <laughs> oh, it's only Jews, you dumb nigger. And without me, you would be lost your fucking sight in your left eye. That's how I took it. How you gonna come back to that? <laughs> And now I gotta stand you there. You eat a mic. <laughs> that's you eat a mic. Yeah. That's the story she wins every time. You know what he could have hit? He could have hit. He could have. He could have. He could have he he hit her with that Revelation thirteen. Like a bug. She be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm gonna miss your ass. Hey, I'm motherfucking. This what he did. I gotta go upstairs and take some Jew medicine now. Hey, hey, is this what you should have hit her with when she when she hit him with that? I would have looked at her and been like, he that leave into captivity, <laughs> go y'all go into captivity. I read it. Look, 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 look. 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 Look, Put it together with your son that said we're in captivity. So you got to shut the fuck up on them because they got you in the twist. They do, man. They did that to Farrakhan. You, you got, hey, 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 it's, guess what? Your dad got to take the low. He got to take the low, bro. Yeah. I saw I saw Farrakhan when he caught cancer and all them Jewish doctors ran and what? saved him. And then he was like, uh, you know, my anti-Semitic remarks about the Jewish people. See, that's where you fucked up. See, he's supposed yeah. to stand. He didn't apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> he did. He said. He said I made in the past, but I started feeling different about certain Jewish people because these Jewish people saved my life. They was taking cancer up out my ass, and I'm like, how you know no, that? It's you. just I just don't think I was about to go. But guess what? This is what your son is saying. Yeah, they helped me, whatever. But fuck y'all. Still, I feel, still. and that's the way I feel. Still, but still, deep down inside, so I feel because the racket is. I feel inferior. Yeah. Because I, I can't. I, I, see, I'm like, damn, see, dude. dude over like, here in the left, he ain't going, dog. I he feel ain't. inferior. That make me feel inferior hey, to them. Hey, hey, why your son ain't going, though? No, I understand. Second <laughs> I do. Verse 56. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, 
and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So fuck them. <laughs> no matter what, I could be brick of death, donated all the blood in the world, and white people came and carried me to fucking wherever the fuck and I healed. I'm gonna get up and say fuck y'all. <laughs> Because I don't you... give a fuck. <laughs> because God said so. Well, I ain't say it, motherfucker. Fuck y'all. I do feel I like win. that. Every but time. Kiss it's... my ass. You a slave on this side God and said, on God that said, side. Kiss bitch. my ass. <laughs> I'm going to be ragging. I'm going to let you die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fuck that. Wake up and slavery. This is the dad going to say. But is be you wise know, as a serpent, harmless uh, as a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I I'm being a fucking mummy fit. I'm being that bitch. This arm this, broke. Fuck y'all. Huh? This the honest <laughs> truth. Oh, that's love. And I, I, I can't prove oh, it. Oh man, I can't prove it. I don't even really want to insinuate it. But that woman act like she already knew something about me. Almost like this is the guy. Who talk all that anti-Semitic shit that and the other Jews that. found out about? And this motherfucker don't realize that I know who he is. He gotta come. I'm gonna be professional, right? But I'm gonna be like, I know who you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will look on time. I yeah. think my ophthalmologist yeah, played me the same way. I know my. I know the time. Oh yeah, twenty-seven. Just about. Remember when you thought? Yes, you, you can close me whenever you're done. You can close Remember about. when you thought? That mug that, might cut off before that, but it's all good. Okay. Do you think, no, no, finish doing your thing. Remember when you thought that it was these certain people at these jobs that you started to get this vibe like somebody was like, hey, look at this. That's that's the guy. Yeah, that's yeah. him. Yeah. What? That's what they was doing? Yeah, we real Jew. What the fuck is that? Yeah, that's what I wanted you to see. And then that was going on at them jobs. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I definitely could see that. Cause remember you you even you said man I don't know man they be acting like they know about some shit yeah yeah cause I went I just went through that twice bro cause if I'm on the left hand side of this and I know I'm cooked at the end and I got power and time oh, I'm and correct. resources and I'm, finna, I'm finna find all you niggas yeah I I, yeah. I sometimes I look at it Facts. like this yeah. I say I ain't got shit else to do this nothing is the, else to do. This is the fucked up thing about the way I think. And maybe it's the, the Lord make me like that. Because if we are doing the Lord's work, then he going to give us the strength to persevere in times of, of intense scrutiny and danger. We'll do it easily. Sometimes you can handle danger better if you don't know. No, you handle danger better if you don't know it's present. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is, what if... Well, when I talk on this camera, all of the things that I say about all the people that I say it, there's something inside my brain that swears up and down that they will never see it or I'm not important enough to, to watch or stumble across. Okay. But if there's some Jewish kid sitting at home and he stumbled across a, Yash, a, 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 a Milwaukee, um, Yasha, a Milwaukee, the truth, and he just... Because that's how I found the truth. You're just dicking around. What's this? Yeah. And then now you're watching it, and you're like, damn, this is disrespectful. All oh, these guys from Milwaukee? Okay, I don't see their real names. I'm going to show my dad this. Now he show his dad, and his dad gets so offended, he make it a point to find out who are these, like they did with Yacht Men. Yeah. He said, I'm going to show this to the feds. What was the that's fed name? Right. Yeah, so, so then you offended him so much, to where he feel like I just want to find out who they are, and then they pay that little money and they say, "Oh, this is who they are. That's Rod, and this is you know, and you know, yeah. Well, what's their criminal records? Well, this, that. He stay right here. He stay right there. They do this shit every week. Yeah, they do this shit every week, and then they start watching it. Yeah. And every time they go to the synagogue, and every time they go around each other, they share your shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And be like, look at these motherfuckers. Look how big of the groups they growing. You on YouTube, we got to do something because they just letting them. That that's how they on there talking about us. Yeah, these little bitty small channels that don't nobody watch. We having fifty and 60, 70 subscribers. That's how they be on there talking. They ain't looking for big audience. They on there venting. They don't care if nobody watch this shit. They think it ain't nobody watching this shit. We'll they don't care. The they look at it like they insignificant. Yeah, we'll prophesy to the wind. So, but really, we offending somebody. 
really, 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 really narcissistic, bad, and rich. And then they just, when you go around the city, they just, look at this motherfucker. He think that he's got away with that. And they had this attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jews funny about how they want people to perceive them and talk about them. They don't have thick skin like us. Right. Where you can just get on the camera, you nigger and this nigger, yeah, nigger, yeah, nigger. Yeah, yeah. No, you say one thing true about them, like man, they own everything. And like when LeBron said, "We're well, getting Jewish money." Hey, they don't say that. that. Like, goddamn, I they can't say them. I'm getting. But y'all brag about being rich. Yep, they may don't recant that. I'm getting that Jewish money. Hey, LeBron, you can't say that. He can't say that. But Robert Sarver can say, "Hey, are you one of the niggers I own?" I'm just playing with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. They real funny, so I can't prove it, but uh, when I got made in that Jewish neighborhood by your boy, and then he ended up dead, I was fucked. He said, y'all be watching Yasha out of Milwaukee. I'm like, what? Don't nobody watch our channel. Who the fuck are you? Dumbass nigga. That's when I realized, dude, you a dumbass nigga. You upload all that disrespectful shit to YouTube. And I'm like, damn, but I ain't. That's when it hit me. I was nigga, I was like Maximus when the little boy said, you know, daddy now I'm on the back up and was looking like, oh shit, Thomas around this motherfucker? Uh -huh. When Rebel Tremel. Oh yeah. He said, right. I'll be watching you and your brother, Yasha out of Milwaukee. Yeah, y'all yeah. be talking about your Howard Shy. I was like, oh, don't say that. He yeah. kept saying your Howard Shy name. Like, uh, you know where you at? <laughs> Alex Lashley lived two blocks down the road. He not then, but his house where Rebel Tremel was. Doing all that, the house that Alex Lazary now have, lives in with his wife and kids is two blocks from there on Wall Street. He's on Wall and Tower in the middle of the, before you go down to niggas, nigga zone. Right there. Clowning with his shirt off. Then somebody with a mask rolled up on a bike and gunned him down in front of his newspaper. Okay. So we don't know, but we don't like y'all and we know the feeling is mutual. We watched enough Tony Soprano to know that y'all fake people out. We heard Donald Sterling, but we just know your nature. You a demon. Okay. And when you make these black women sign their children's organs over to not donating them, you take them anyway. Who do you think you fooling? Facts. You can close this, bro. All praises to Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to all the Akwat and Akim keep pushing. And we had a treat uh, the other day. And it's, we, I, I think it's a beautiful thing that Jagged Edge and the truth, they be getting made on the street. Yeah. Hey, you look familiar. He's like, huh? Well, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you be singing this? and shit. You know, he be, he be getting made. They be getting made. Like but all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.